welcome back to this tutorial. In this section, I just wanted to draw your attention to something that is quite interesting and we will fix anyway. You probably haven't noticed, but it's something that might just need to be fixed. So, um, again, if you play the scene, and again, if you remember, well, previously we had a BG sound that was persistent, that was basically staying across scene. So, this is our. I'm going to click there. So this is our BG sound here, okay, so that's our, our sound here. And again, you can see that whenever the scene is uh, basically reloaded, it will basically uh, include two BG sound, all right, which is a bit frustrating because you won't be able to mute it. So the thing that we need to do is to detect whether we have more than one BG sound and to destroy it then, all right? So um, for this purpose, basically, what we could do is, the first thing, we're going to go back to this level here, and again, um, I think we have a B, so I'm going to look for BG sound, right there, and again, I'm going to give this a tag, a new tag, so again, there is no tag, uh, no tag that I want now, so I'm going to create a brand new tag, and I'm going to call it BG sound, all right, uh, actually, to be consistent with the other one, BG sound, okay, I'm going to apply this tag, here to uh, BG sound. Perfect. That's the first thing. The second thing is if I go back to um, the script for the sound, so I think it's control sound here, what I need to do in the start function, so whenever this, uh, this is loaded, I need to, sh to check uh, whether there are other objects um, with the exact same tag. So again, I'm going to say game object, and again, it's going to be an array called BG. Uh, BG sounds, and again it's going to be game, it's going to be a game object. Dot find um, objects with tag, and the tag I'm looking for is BG sound. Now again, what it will do is it will return an array of all the objects for which the tag is BG sound. So in this case, what I just need to do is to check that for BG sounds, the length or the size if you prefer of this array so if the the length of this array is more than one so if you have more than one object uh, called bg sound with the tag called bg sound what you can do is destroy the current one that's it okay so again just to repeat what i'm doing here uh, in the start function again i'm looking for all the objects uh, for which the, the tag is of the label is BG sound and again these objects are saved in an array called BG sounds for nest once this is done I'm going to check the size of my array and if it's more than one so basically if, basically if, if I have more than one element in my array so more than one object with the tag called BG sound I will destroy the current one all right so again that's done let's go back to unity save our script and make sure that this is actually working so again I'm going to delete um, this item in the search field, play my scene, and uh, again monitor uh, the number of objects called BG sound. So right now I've got one of them, and as the NPC uh, arrives, and when the scene reloads, we should have a second one. But you can see now, we have only um, we have only one object called BG sound in the scene, so that's, that doesn't work properly. And again, um, whenever you you start to uh, not destroy object between scenes, it's something just to be aware of. Okay, so again, uh, that was working properly. So in the next few scenes, there are uh, two or three more features that uh, we will have a look at. The first one is to uh, create an end screen, and the last one will be to detect whenever the plane has actually left the island. So again, that's going to be in the next tutorials.